what is going on guys welcome back to the channel good to see you all again let's talk about amc briefly it'll be a short one it's not an amc channel i don't care what you do with this you want to trade it you don't want to trade it you want to diamond hand it great do whatever you want so let's just look at some of the numbers some of the lines that we have drawn up let's see how they're respecting as always it's not financial advice so if we're looking at some of these ribbons that we have on our Fibonacci's, basically it got rejected almost perfectly where that came in. We have a couple of Fib lines that are drawn up. We have a longer one here at $7.89, which it is sitting at $7.77 in the after hours. Looking like our daily candle is going to settle just below there. I'd like to see it close above $7.89 to give me a little bit of confirmation that we can take out some of our fib lines on the shorter time frames at $7.98. So let's see if we can close somewhere at $7.89 to $7.99. Somewhere in that range will um, look pretty decent, I guess, in my eyes. I think we do have a we have a volume gap here on the daily that'll kick in somewhere around eight dollars and two cents up to about eight and a half. So um, could be a quick up there if we can get up there with some strength and hold. Uh, right now we have uh, two fib lines, uh, three fib lines, honestly, that are coming in, kicking in, and kind of holding us at this moment. Earnings, uh, what is earnings tomorrow? I think earnings are tomorrow, so uh, keep an eye on that as well. Sometimes these things like to run into earnings, and we don't know how earnings are going to be. Could they be good? Sure. Does it matter? Um, I don't think it matters right now whether they're good or bad. The market's going to do what they want to do with it, so keep an eye on some of these levels. Uh, I, I'd be watching for... If it gives out $7.08, uh, I think we're going to be making our trek back down. So right now we're about $0.70 cents above there, which is okay. But uh, depending on how many shares you have that you're trading or um, that you're diamond handing, it could be a big difference in your portfolio. And then we're leading in ultimately to the vote for the reverse split for APE and AMC. And I won't even comment on what I feel about reverse splits. But so far, I mean, it's making its move. Good volume. We haven't seen this kind of volume in quite some time. So that's nice to see coming in. But again, just be cautious that this could just be leading up to earnings and could be some sort of a disappointment. Um, looking at our Ortex, I've been seeing a lot of crazy cost of borrows going around. I, I don't. I don't know. Um, either they dropped the cost of borrows way down as far as everything went, or um, what do we got here? No, we don't even have AMC. Let's see. AMC. There we go. AMC short. Okay. So uh, coming down quite a bit from like the 800s that you guys have been seeing, 314. It's still nothing to laugh about. It's still quite a bit of money, right, to be able to borrow those shares on an annual basis. So um, they're looking for quite a bit of a decline if they're willing to still take those out on the threshold list. Utilization still at 100%. Uh, Live short interest of the free float coming in at 23.4%. Live short interest, honey, 120.72 million shares on loan. Take it for what it is. It's Ortex. It is what it is. It's the best that we have to work with, in my opinion. Um, but I do like to see everything that's happening as far as what we have going on. So it's been a while since we've been here. It's been a while since we've seen these kind of cost of borrows. It's been a while since we've seen it. I guess on the threshold list um, for things like this to start happening so uh, looking good just uh, I want you guys to keep in mind that we are in a pretty tight spot right here so uh, again if we can see that 789 or 798 area uh, close above there for today or even into the pre-market if we want to make that move um, but be just cautious of a rejection down to $7.08. See how it is responding there. See how tomorrow's going leading into that vote, or not the vote, but into earnings, and then I guess be watching it through earnings, see what goes on there as well, because it is going to impact the play in one way or another. As far as um, the shorter time frames go, the RSI is 
cranking right along on the 30 minute it's pretty hot on the one hour um, heating up on the four hour quite a bit and on the daily I guess we still have some room to move if it wants to as far as keeping these longer time frames going but I think our shorter time frames might want to take a breather at some point and when that will be um, it could be that retracement back down just being 100% honest uh, could be an ugly cup with a little handle forming to continue to carry on kind of a bullish triangle setup as long as we can close out this 30 minute candle you know keeping our flat top up here somewhere wanting to push to the upside we don't want to see this kind of kind of flag out by any means or come to some sort of triangle we want to see a continuation of what we have going on here as the buyers continue to step in to the downside a little bit sooner each time and we want to see it continue to try to almost you know flat top out right in here so see if we can keep the pressure on at seven dollars 95 cents as the top and work our way up from I'd say no lower than 775 just continue to see if it builds that pressure and wants to push up through this fib ribbon that we have drawn here which would be somewhere around eight dollars and five cents so see how it's responding in after hours pre-market I don't put a whole lot of weight on those because you know as soon as the market opens it can take a big move up or down whichever way it wants to go and quickly invalidate what we're doing in after hours and pre-market but just watch it see how it's moving and like I said on your way down uh, 750 will be psychological so you might see a little bit of a hiccup there and then be watching those fib lines so I hope you guys are making some money here at least or uh, you know if you're trading it and if you're diamond handing it I hope you're green but I will catch you guys in the next one as always stay golden people and may your accounts stay green